So these are two 12 volt batteries. Now these are leisure batteries. These aren't necessarily ideal for a renewable energy system, but for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, they'll be fine. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two 12 volt batteries together in parallel, so we have a 12 volt battery bank. And to connect batteries in parallel, the positive terminal of the one battery goes to the positive terminal of the next, and the negative terminal of the one battery goes to the negative terminal of the next. Now these batteries have wind-up terminals on. Um, it may be that the type of battery you're using has what's called an automotive post, which is a different type of clamp, but the wiring will be the same. So this is just a nice, quick and easy way of making these connections. Now, as you'll see later on, there'll be three or four different connections to the battery bank. So it's, that's another reason why the stud terminals that we're using here are really nice and convenient to use. I'll just pop these screws on finger tight. So we've got negative to negative and positive to positive. When you're working with batteries, you need to make sure you're incredibly careful not to short out the batteries. So you don't want to put the cable between those two terminals or those two terminals because there'll be a big spark. Okay, that's that done. The other thing I would say is usually you would already mount all of this equipment. So the dump load and the TriStar and the batteries would already be mounted on a, a suitable surface um, with a battery enclosure perhaps um, on a, a, a nice metal control panel um, and there needs to be enough air space for air to circulate around the dump load and the TriStar controller because uh, the dump load will get hot when the batteries are full and it's burning excess energy from the wind turbine. The next thing we need to do is to, before we connect any wires to the TriStar, is we need to configure the TriStar. And we, there's a number of dip switches inside which we need to set into different positions. So the first thing we need to do is remove the cover. Remove the cover with the four screws, one in each corner. I removed one earlier. With the screws removed, the cover lifts off, revealing the insides. Now there are a number of terminals in the TriStar. Um, we've got a connection to the battery, and then the other side is the negative connection to the battery, and then the yellow terminal is one of the connections to the dump load and then the terminal marked common is the second connection to the dump load and then there are a few more bits and bobs in here there's an earth connection there's a sense set of terminals labelled sense now those are for a separate set of cables to the batteries which are recommended that you use and then finally we have a set of terminals marked rem temp that's for a remote temperature sensor and that's used um, when temperature differentials um, want to be monitored so that your, your batteries are charged perfectly for the given temperature. Then we have the bank of dip switches, this red block here. So the first thing we need to do is to set the dip switches on our TriStar. 